Understanding fluid balance. Intake and output. Intake and output, or INO, monitoring is a key part of patient care in healthcare settings. It helps track how much fluid a patient is taking in and how much they are losing, which can give important clues about their hydration status and overall health. Let's start with the basics. Intake refers to any fluids a patient takes in. This includes anything the patient drinks by mouth, such as water, juice, or other liquids. It also includes fluids given through an IV, such as normal saline or other infusions, as well as intravenous medications and total parenteral nutrition, or TPN, which provides nutrition directly into the bloodstream. Output refers to any fluids the body eliminates. This includes urine, void or Foley catheter. Output also includes emesis or vomit, diarrhea, and any drainage from wounds, surgical sites, or fistulas. Healthcare teams record intake and output using INO charts or tables. These tables are usually set up as a simple two-column system, one side for intake and one for output. Each time the patient consumes or loses fluid, the amount and the type are recorded in the appropriate section, along with the time. Measurements are usually recorded in milliliters to ensure accuracy. At the end of a set period, often every shift or every 24 hours, the total intake and total output are added up. Once you have those numbers, you can calculate the fluid balance. Fluid balance is calculated by subtracting the total output from the total intake. The formula looks like this. Fluid balance equals total intake minus total output. If the result is a positive number, the patient has a positive fluid balance, meaning they've taken in more fluid than they've lost. If the result is negative, they've lost more fluid than they've taken in. Let's walk through a quick example. If a patient has a total intake of 2,400 milliliters over 24 hours and their total output is 1,900 milliliters, the fluid balance would be 2,400 milliliters intake minus 1,900 milliliters output, which equals plus 500 milliliters. That positive balance means the patient has retained 500 milliliters more fluid than they've lost over that time period. Tracking INO and calculating fluid balance are essential parts of patient assessment. This process helps identify trends, guide clinical decision-making, and ensure patients remain properly hydrated. The ideal fluid balance depends on the patient's condition. For most stable patients, intake and output should be roughly equal. A positive fluid balance may be expected when replacing lost fluids, but if unintentional, it can signal fluid overload. A negative fluid balance might be the goal when reducing excess fluid, though it can also point to dehydration or excessive fluid loss if not planned. In some cases, significant imbalances can alert the care team to more serious underlying issues that require prompt attention. That's why it's important to assess fluid balance within the full clinical context.